This week on Midwest Outdoors, we go for the Grand Slam on Lake Michigan. Roger Cormier hooks into a pile of perch on Lake Winnie. And Steve Ryan is targeting big midsummer pike in Saskatchewan. You're watching Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping you enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Skeeter Boats, and Flow Fast Fuel Transfer Systems. Let's get that first one. Alex has got him. Nice fish, man. Good start. And he's off the hook already. Good job. <laughs> Get her in the net. There you go. Yeah. There's a quick start. Nice hey, folks, good morning. We're out with my good friend, Dumper Dan, out of Lake Michigan. We've been fishing about five minutes. We've got a special guest today, five-time Grammy Award winner, Brittany Howard. This gal can play a mean guitar, and she sings like an angel. We're going to help her catch some fish today. Got our first one in the bucket here, a nice brown trout. We're going to get the rest of the lions in the water and see if we can catch some more. That's a nice, chunky start. Nice, chunky start. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on there, PA? Yeah. It's just really far out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, tell her how much lines she's got. Oh. We got it, PA. Yeah. Dixie? We got Taylor Ann hooked up. How you feeling, Taylor Ann? Um, this is definitely the hardest fish I've ever <laughs> fought in my life. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, y'all. I'm trying my best. You're doing great. <laughs> she does look like she's working. Yeah, she's, like, she's, she's really great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're fighting a nice fish right now on a 450 copper setup. And what that means is it's a weighted line, copper line, that takes your bait down pretty deep, actually. 450 feet of copper, it goes down about 80 to 100 feet of water down in the water column. It's on an inside planer board. You hold it. I'm pregnant. Yep. This is a group project now, baby. There's no way I can do this. There's no way. Yeah, I got to get there. Yeah, I got the rod. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo. <laughs> nice job. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bravo! What do you got? <laughs> that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life! <laughs> that is literally half of my size. Right, so how was that, Taylor Ann? It's literally the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I don't know how I did it. Well, you did a great... You guys helped me, so thank you. You did a great job. All right, Tim, show us how it's done. How, how far down do you think this fish was when we caught it? Uh, when he hit, he was probably down, give or take, about 75, 80 feet down. Okay. Um, you got him about halfway in already, but he was out there a ways. So how do you like this kind of fishing? Well, <laughs> it's very different than catching yep. uh, pumpkin seed sunfish, yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah, good point. We oh always say gosh. when the bobber goes down here, you hang on tight. Yeah, yeah. this is a full body experience. Full body experience. Yeah. I like it. Right now, I'm flexing every muscle in my body. Yep. So, if anyone had any doubt that fishing is a sport, well, this was how you tell. Steely, huh? Got a hey. nice fish. Wow, is that a big one? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, what do you think? Well, this is an amazing fish. I've never caught a fish this big in my life. It's a big one. It's a Lake Michigan rainbow trout, or we call them steelhead. Wow. Gorgeous fish, fun to catch. Um, as you can see, he fought really hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of breath. So yeah, very nice. You did a great job Thank on the, you. On the was... pole. And we got him in the box, and we're going to put him on the grill soon. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you bet. Don't lose him. <laughs> How can you tell when you've got one on the line? Uh, you can tell when the rod really starts pounding. Uh, we call it bucking the rod. It just keeps pounding. You grab the rod, get it out of the holder, loosen the drag up a little bit, but these fish fight hard, so you'll you'll see it when the fish hits. Coming back. 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 Right. Back. Yep. back. We're going to sit down the chair, so I don't know Ooh, might be a coal, might be a rainbow. Do we got a net man? We got a net man. We need a net man. There he is. We got him. Wow, nice fish. 
<laughs> These fish are delicious. Good. Really good cold Here's salmon. Right nice job. You you grab it, grab it. <laughs> yeah. We gonna have any lines left on pretty soon. You can do this. You got it too. I believe in you. How you doing, Tiffany? A little out of breath, a little nauseous. But honestly, the distraction is helping a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Nice! There yeah. you go! Woo. Another king in the boat. Oh, my lord. You got a ways to go. Well, Brittany, you can spend life on the road playing music. You get to go do some different adventures, but uh, fishing's one of your favorites, huh? That's right. You get to fish all over the place when you go? You know, I try to. Whenever we got a day off, we're next to some nice water, I'll try to go out there and fish it. Started fishing with your parents? Yeah, my dad used to take us fishing when we were really little, and I don't know, I, it never really left me. It's always been something that kind of grounds me and and calms me down and just reminds me who I am and where I'm from. Keep coming. What do we got? Nope. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. We got him. I got the rod, Brittany. Good job. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> Dumper Dan, I understand we just did something pretty awesome. We did. Uh, we got the Lake Michigan a Grand Slam. It's not easy to do, but we just got the job done. The Grand Slam, what that means is all five species that we're fishing for, we caught today. We caught king salmon, rainbow trout, lake trout, brown trout, and coho salmon, all, all five right. species. Yeah. It's awesome. Dumper Dan, tell me a little bit about your operation. What are you running here? Well, I run out of the port of Sheboygan. I have six uh, charter boats, uh, matching fleet of 30-foot Bajas that we run out of Sheboygan. This is my 38th year in business, so I've been around a while. Um, we run consistently every year the last decade over a thousand trips a season, so we stay busy at what we do. We have uh, riverfront condos, we have lakefront condo Very right nice. on the beach, and we have a riverfront store, so we have it all. It's the one-stop shop for fishing, lodging, store, everything. So if someone wanted to book a trip with you, how would they go about doing that? The best way is to call me direct, 920-377-1147 like you folks did. Want to put a big shout out to Brittany Howard for joining us on the boat. Her friends uh, Emily, Tiffany, and Taylor Ann, and Dumper Dan himself, of course Captain Geo, First Mate Alex. Folks, if you want to come out and catch some fish, all you got to do is look up DumperDan.com. I'm Greg Jones, more Midwest Outdoors is coming right up. Little fighter, man. Cool. Tony Roach is with me in the boat today, and he's putting us on a cool pattern for jumbo perch. Fishing with little VMC bucktail jigs tipped with a minnow. Maybe there'll be enough in here we'll catch them even without bait, but cool little jig we'll talk about. Got some great properties, and we're chasing a few jumbo perch. Just vertically fishing them? Yeah, just dropped it. I hit it a couple times and I dropped it right below the boat, cracked it. Nice, decent size perch today. They roam around in packs. These things are notorious roamers. This time of year, they're hiding in cover. They're trying to stay away from the walleyes and pike. Everything loves eating perch. There we go. That's a nice one. Doubles. They are loaded in that corner. Yeah, just literally fishing them underneath the boat in right. three and four feet of water. Whether you're a seasoned angler or new to the sport of fishing or a kid, for example, everybody loves perch fishing. They're so aggressive and so fast action, especially when you, you're catching them on light rods with light line. It's just a blast. There we go. Without bait, just on that hair jig. And we're using really light rods, ultralights, lights. I love the feel of, let's say, like a three or four pound test with that hair jig. You can kind of feel everything in there. And these the, perch are in big numbers up shallow. And we're just pitching these hair jigs up along the weed lines. You know, the, these fish will congregate in big, big numbers. I got a whole school following the one I got hooked. <laughs> <laughs> big, big numbers. Once once you find them, it's, it's, it's really important to spot lock and then just sit on top of them. Ooh, Roger's got a nice one. Boy, and he just chomped it too, again, without bait, and he just inhaled that jig. 
That's a nice one. Yeah, nice one, and he had a bunch of nice ones with him, too. That's a jig. That's a little VMC bucktail jig. And that's a nice jumbo there. I'm gonna lip him. Beauty. There we go, Raj. Nice jumbo. Oh, yeah, nice. I love fishing hair jigs. They're deadly not just for panfish, but bass, pike, walleyes. I use them all the time. Speaking this, of walleyes. <laughs> speaking of walleye right there on the hair jig. <laughs> hair jigs are absolutely phenomenal baits. You know, hair jigs kind of went away for a while. A lot of people relied on plastics, but it's unbelievable how lifelike that hair jig actually is in the water column. And I've become a believer. I'm a huge hair jig fan not just for panfish, but for game fish as well. The Walters. Yeah. The walleyes are mixed in here with the perch. A little right bit in of the weeds, you see the vegetation. They're just sitting down below waiting for baits to come over the top. And that's what's nice about that hair jig. It floats really nice in vegetation. You know, as Tony said, hair jigs are a great option for walleye. You know, the VMC Moontail jig, awesome for casting with or without bait to catch walleyes. These uh, panfish size jigs, the 16th ounce, I'll actually drop underneath a bobber when I'm walleye fishing. They have a high carbon steel hook, a very strong hook for a jig of that size. Most panfish jigs, that light wire hook will bend real easy on a bigger fish, but not the case with these VMC bucktail jigs. Awesome jig to use underneath a bobber for walleye. Chunky little guy. Tony and I are both fishing with light, power fast action panfish rods in my case i've got a six foot nine legend elite panfish from st croix awesome rods very sensitive and we're split up with just four pound test line suffix advanced mono so a very easy presentation here fishing these perch in shallow water Here. There you go, Roger. Yeah. Ooh, there was a bunch following them, too. Yeah. Another nice size one. There we go. There's another one behind the boat, Roger. Another nice jumbo. Had a fun hour catching some perch, huh, Tony? Yeah, it was a blast. You know, I have fond memories as a kid going perch fishing with my dad. I still enjoy it. What a great little shot in here to just whack a bunch of fish for a fish fry. What do you say we go back out and do some walleye fishing? Love it. Sounds like a great idea. Thanks for taking us out today, Tony. Appreciate it. You bet. Hey, stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. Hey folks, welcome to the show. Steve Ryan from Windows Outdoors, and I'm hooked up with a big fish for, uh, for today's show. We're up here in Northern Saskatchewan, and this is what we're after, real big pike. Swing her right in. Big fish. Really nice fish. Try not to do any damage to these fish's fins or tails. Now that's a beauty, real thick pike. And for today's show, we're gonna show you how to catch these fish. We'll show you our gear, the tactics, what type of water we're fishing, so you can come up here to Northern Saskatchewan, catch fish like that. That's really a beauty. So this is the type of gear we're using. We've got a Revo Toro high-speed reel here that we're fishing with a spinner. We can burn that across the top of the weeds. And here's the cabbage. This is what we're fishing. This is a classic summer pattern. We're up here in uh, mid-July. The weeds are, are up. We're fishing deep cabbage, preferably. So something between five foot of water and maybe 10 or 12 feet. And that really depends on how clear the water is. We've got this Abu Villain rod. It's got tons of backbone. This is a, uh, a high powered rod here. Heavy action, got a fluorocarbon leader on here. This is a, uh, a Berkeley leader with a good cross snap swivel. This is critical. You don't want to come up here with cheap snaps. They'll open them up and you lose those fish. And then this is just your classic. This is actually a, a 500 series Booker tail spinner, but we're getting them on plain maps. That's what that first one came on. If you get a fish that follows up, this is a, a rib shad. 
made by Berkeley, just on a, uh, a Berkeley jig head with a heavy duty hook. If you look at that, it's got a good gauge hook. This will hold up to big pike. And on this one, I've got a steel leader. So this is a multi-strand steel leader. So either go fluorocarbon or steel, but once again, with a good snap. And this is just like, you know, here they see a big meal coming at them, they won't take it. But if you got this little cookie and you just throw it back, who can resist? And you know, they'll just gobble that right up. Fish, fish. That water is so dark. We're, uh, we're constantly changing up colors, which is important. We've got a day that's started off really cloudy, and now we got peaks of sun. So different colors perform better based upon sun or clouds. Lots of times in the sun, we like those metallic colors, give more reflection. Here he is, nice fish. And then the uh, bright colors, the oranges and the yellows, when it gets cloudy. See, and once again, a dead giveaway. Where we caught her? She's trailing some uh, weeds right in her mouth. When you come up here, up to northern Saskatchewan, make sure you come up with heavy enough gear. There, you get to see her. Oh, another thick fish. Look at that. And like I said, she's trailing a bunch of that cabbage. Just what we're looking for. And the thing is, you'd like to find some thick cabbage, but you're not necessarily fishing right in the middle of it. What you want is to find those lanes, those little openings. So always important, keep that tension once again. But look at that fish. What a fatty. Just in perfect shape. Not marked up at all, really thick across the back, if you see that. But yeah, great fish. We're gonna get her back. Here, we're, uh, here we're fishing these spinners today for uh, these pike. And what you gotta be mindful of is you're gonna go through weeds all the time. So uh, it's obvious when you got hanging weeds behind there to clear it off. But another important part is on the clevis of these spinners, as soon as you just get this little bit of grass and it'll, uh, it basically tangles the action of that spinner. So each time, make sure that's clear. And like I said, this one's more obvious, but it only takes a little bit. Josh, I think we've got our going to dinner fish. <laughs> I think this one's gonna wrap up our day. Right on. That's a good fish. Look how broad that fish is. Yeah, and this one came on a soft plastic, actually like a little swim bait. Tori, this one's actually a seismic. Oh, one more run, eh? Mm-hmm. Powerful fish. Just that single hook with that jig. Look at that. Nice, nice going, Josh. Nice, and that hook right in the corner. Just beautifully done. Cool, this should do it. This That's will wrap up the day. Hey, right on. thanks a lot, Josh. I wanna thank Josh, our guide, for putting us in all these great fish, along with Wilson Lake Lodge, all the staff there, first class operation, uh, just like a bunch of camps up here in uh, Northern Saskatchewan. Uh, I'd like to also thank Saskatchewan Tourism. Like I said, just a great place to visit. Put this on your must-do list. Fishing's just outstanding. Whether you're a hardcore angler or a novice or want to introduce somebody to fishing, this is the place to do it. Get up to Saskatchewan, catch fish like this. You know, one of the cool features with hummingbird units, if you incorporate the Lake Master chip, and there's actually a Lake Master chip called Smart Strike. And the unique thing about Smart Strike, if I'm going to a new body of water, I can come in here and I can set some parameters. And when I set those parameters, it'll actually give me areas to go fish. So let's go in here. Um, we're up here in August on Lake of the Woods and uh, we wanna do some different things. So we're gonna come up here and target species, walleyes, summer, time of day, Midday, weather, clear skies, wind, calm, water, murky stain because we got a little bit of algae bloom. Execute search. It's going to search right now. So where all these marks are are good places to check. And 
And so you can see we've looked around some of these areas and it's a good starting point. So the next time you go to new body of water, use your Lake Master Smart Strike to put you on fish faster. That's your Midwest Outdoors tip. Hi, I'm Mark Fisher for Midwest Outdoors and I'm just gonna go over an old favorite tip of mine and a tip of yours too, I'm sure. It's the proper way to sharpen a hook. And every time that you wanna go out and fish, you should always check your hooks to make sure they're what we call sticky. They should just be able to poke and hold your skin. And to put a new edge or tip on the, the hook is the right way to do it. You want to just basically go from the back side of the hook and just go simply forward to the tip. Just dress it up a couple of times, checking again to see if it's stickier than the last time, and that's it. I always run a timer when I get into a spot. Uh, people get a tendency to start visiting, sitting back, and pretty soon their 20 minutes is an hour and 20 minutes without a bite. So guiding, i got to stay on the move, got to stay on the fish. So I literally set the timer on my hummingbird to tell me, when I should be looking at movement. Now, of course, if we're catching fish, we reset the timer and stick around. Like this? Like this fish I'm catching here, Brad? Like that one. And that's your Midwest Outdoors tip of the week.